All right. Okay. This is level one. Level one. Rash and Clank yes. going commando. And uh, now Mike has got the controller. I think this level was designed by Leslie. Leslie Matheson Leslie? did this okay. level, yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't program ours. this level, so no. somebody else did. Uh, I think I did. I think I designed uh, a, a platforming challenge in this level, maybe. Oh, look at the vendor. That's a nice little... Nice, nice little vendor with the Megacorp and the logo. Did you do the vendor? No. Oh, okay. I think... I, just, I don't know who did the vendor. I just suspect your motives now. Every t Oh, you still got to buy ammo in this game. Oh, we don't have the buy all? Well, we do let you... No, we don't have the buy all yet, but we do let you... We do default it to buy max. Okay. So, let's see. Almost to the chopper. All right, so... Uh, the shotgun's better than the chopper, Mike. The chopper was awesome, dude. I love the chopper. Shotgun also awesome. Well, I'll tell you what. You can, uh, if if you're if you're playing, is, you get to choose. This is going to be a real buy. conflict, I think. When, to what weapon to buy for the other person to play through? You know what? Conflict sells uh, podcast uh, video, <laughs> YouTube, whatever the fuck this is called. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh man. The controls are so different. See, and you were making fun of me for doing. This is it's you difficult for, to for get back into the game. Making fun of you for running around. Oh no 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 no! This is not going to do. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see camera. All right. Uh, so if you guys are all completely bored now. Oh wait, no, that's not going to do either. See, in this you were trying to make fun of me, but now look at you. Shut, shut. Oh, okay. It's the up down that's messed up. No, the up down is perfectly fine. There we go. Oh, so wrong. You know what? You can fix it when you play, and then. Oh yeah. Uh, didn't this, doesn't this game have it where if you tap the? No, that was Ratchet Three. Like if you tapped Triangle, it would switch uh, to quick, your other yeah, weapon. The quick, yeah. yeah, the quick replace. All right. So these were the little. Uh, 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 they belch gas, and I think I wrote some of my very first lines ever about these guys. Really? Uh, yeah, like oh, I did the, the uh, monster pedia in this one. In this okay. Game. Yeah, and I I wrote a bunch of the lines for that. Uh, although I think they were later, uh, most of them were later rewritten by uh, you know other people. Uh, and what I wrote for the uh, uh, the the guy that burps at you is uh, I said that uh, you know like the like the the Blargian snaggle beast. This character is known for, you know, e e excreting horrible gases. But unlike the Blargy and Snaggle Beast, this creature emits them from its mouth. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, uh, that was, I think that wasn't kid-friendly enough. Look at the little replacements for the taxis going on in here. Oh, this is a platforming challenge, dude. They, they, uh, they see, they submerged themselves in the water. I remember the kids had a hell of a time with this in, uh, in the focus tests. Uh, we, we had to do a lot of revisions on uh, on those, if I remember correctly. Man, I don't remember any of this, Mike. I don't remember? Yeah, well, that, that's because you just sat in your little corner and played your own levels. I played my levels, and that, that's all I cared about. And that's, you know... Was, was Moo on this game, too? Did you play Moo's levels? Um... Or was he just Ratchet... Did he come Moo, in Ratchet I don't even remember. You know what? So much of it blends together, and that's really the problem I have, is I think a lot of going commando levels are in Up Your Arsenal. And I think a lot of up your arsenal levels are in going commando, and I'm just wrong about everything all the time. <laughs> um, the uh, uh, Ken Strickland was on this game, though. Okay. Uh, I, I, I think. Pretty sure. I think he came in near the end, like he did the credits and some other stuff. Uh, Ken, if I'm if I'm remembering it wrong, you know, call me up and yell at me. Well, I think there's a like a secret around here. You can get a gold bolt if you. Uh, you better find it the right then. way. Don't. Don't leave the gold bolts just lying around. I think you, you ride oh, this guy a little that. longer oh, than you see, think you need to. See, look at that. Time. Clever. That's very clever. Yeah. Uh, either that or I just went the critical path right now. No, you just got lots of boat bolts. That's true enough to go buy the chopper. No. You want the shotgun. I don't know what they call the shotgun, but it's a shotgun. I don't know what the proper name for it is. Um, um, I, I, the Garcianator? <laughs> Is that what we called it? The the Tony Tron? There should have been a golden bolt there. I, I like these little dinosaur guys. They're cute, aren't they? They have a lot of personality. Yeah. You know what? That's the ratchet way. You take something like a platforming challenge, and you add a lot of personality to it and make it better. 
You know what? You take something that's already good and you just make it better. And that's how ratchet. Break those lampposts, Mike. There's a lot of hard work that went into those lampposts. We have to showcase them. You know, I think the uh, I think the gold bolts is over across that way, but I'm not going to go try and get it. I'm not that type of player. Look at that. Look at the way that broke. It's amazing. The way you talk so highly about it, I think it was you who, who coded it. I just appreciate good work. And it just so happens that I do a lot of good work. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we have the, the flip still. Yes. Oh, man, I used to do this a lot, uh, especially during wrench playthroughs. Uh, also, yeah, for you know, piece of trivia, not regarding this game, but uh, Ratchet won. Tony was the only person ever to go through the whole game using only the wrench. Thank you, Mike. I'm not one normally to toot my own horn, so I'm glad you added that little bit in there for people. Did you just do that so that I could make a, a horn tooting joke? No. Okay. So here's another little thing. The, um, the little death effect on organic enemies. It took us a long time to figure out what would be a good death effect enemies because you got to right. figure out what an enemy is supposed to do when it dies and i think what we ended up coming up with fictionally was that they dissolve into nanotech because nanotech is life in this universe i suppose yes but for some reason didn't uh doesn't give you right uh, unless they are uh, gross enemies in which case they they go splat with a green splat. right so there's bug enemies that splat robotic enemies that explode right because explosions are great and then organic enemies we had such a hard time figuring out exactly what you do with an organic enemy when it dies and because uh, we didn't want them to just fade away and not be in you have to put something on there and so i think we ended up coming up with that nanotech effect i think it was a good effect a little put on these little guys and i think still used to this day uh not the exact same effect but the uh, uh the, the general idea that nanotech is what happens on organic enemies Oh, here we go, some sliding. Nice big tunnel. Oh, something's down here. Yeah, tractor beam. We get the tractor oh, beam. Oh, is this tractor beam time? This was you then. This uh, is something I didn't, that you did. I didn't design this, no. Uh, this this tutorial, uh, Leslie designed this. I okay. did the, the next. The next tractor beam. Yeah, in, in okay. Space Vegas, uh, registered trademark. <laughs> we had to, ch we actually, it was called Space Vegas. We had to change it to... Uh, Whatever it ended up being called, the Mactar Nebula or whatever, because uh, because it turns out that Las Vegas is actually a copyrighted term. Right, yeah. and that's why we're just saying it over and over and yeah. over again. Because we want to get. By the way, uh, if 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 anyone at Sony Computer Entertainment is hearing this, please don't sue us. Yes. Please. We're not we're not doing this to be mean or spiteful. We're just trying to relive relive the glory days of our time at Insomniac. Working oh. for the wonderful company Sony. So this is uh, this is when you still had to buy the gadgets. Yeah. You still had to pay money to get through the critical path. I'm not going to be able to afford the chopper. That's you know. exactly how I like it. But you know what? There's still yeah. another segment in this level. Well, we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that the game's on my side on this one. Oh, I know there's a gold bolt here. There's gold bolt up there. Um, so the uh, yeah the tractor beam is one of my uh, one of my big uh, I guess failures as a designer. And it feels horrible to say, but there are a lot of failures in this game on my part. Where did it go? Oh, it's over there. It's not gold. These are platinum bolts in this. Oh game. right. We haven't gone to gold. No, no, gold was in the first game. Oh, it was gold. Okay, now yeah. we're on platinum. Now we're on platinum bolts. I got it. Which I guess. Whoa. Oh. That didn't happen. That uh, did no, not no, no. At all. That did happen, and that bug is Roberto. <laughs> because he did the camera. Uh, when we were on, uh, uh, when we were testers on Ratchet One, Roberto would tell us we'd never be able to p uh, pin a bug on him. Right. And I think I just fucking pinned a bug on you, Roberto. No, no, that was the, that was actually the fault of the person who coded up the tractor beam. It's not my fault, but I fixed it anyway. <laughs> All right, I'm actually going to do this this time instead of just. Thank you, help desk lady. You remember, uh, I, w I actually got a big kick out of it in the first game where you actually get to meet the help desk lady. Right, uh, that's right. Oh, and uh, we went through some iterations on the new help desk lady in this game. Uh, mm -hmm. I remember she had a British accent for a while. Yeah, there was a lot of back and forth. But you know what? Pretty much everything that happened in this game. It was a lot of back and forth on. 
people don't realize how much time went into just Iteration. even the smallest detail, making sure that it fit into the universe and that it worked, you know, that it invoked the right feeling that we wanted to evoke from people. Had a sense of place and, and space. And, yeah. And whimsy was very important, right. too. Whimsy and, uh, you know, gravitas, I yeah. think. Um, help me out. I need another. I'm not good with words. You're the. You're good with words. Uh, I don't. All right. Uh, a sense of uh, urgency. Uh, oh, the buzzword back in uh, in this year when we made this was visceral. Visceral. That's yeah. right. 